Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're doing well. I'm on with Friday night's book haul for this week. Now I've only got a real little one, which is really cool actually. I think um, donations have slowed down a whole lot. I think there was a mass rush of books for the first few weeks after, uh, after lockdown. But now it's sort of slowing down a bit. So it gives us time to tidy things up. So I just bought some books today, <laughs> which seems silly because of how many I've got. But um, because it was a bit slow, I had a lot of time to look around the bookstore, which is always dangerous. And I went out the back and there were incoming books, which hadn't been sorted and that. So I was looking through those and I found a few gold noldies, which I reckon would have ended up in the bin. Um, so I thought rather than risk them going to the recycling that I'd just buy them. So I, I mean the money goes for such a good cause. So. Okay, so I got myself a library card. If that was in the rubbish bin. <laughs> so I pulled it out of the rubbish bin. Such a scab, but yeah, wasn't going to let that go in the rubbish. <laughs> there was this search for happiness. Now I've grabbed that just because of the cover. It's already got its own little flip out bit here so I'll be able to make something of that I think it'll go nice in a floral themed journal maybe one I'm doing soon actually so put that to the side I'm on an awkward angle here I can't get my camera sorted I'm trying to fix it somewhat there was this one which is the meal on the floss by George Eliot you can just see that it's quite old Now, it just says that it was, just says first published in 1860. So I'm going to have to look this one up because it hasn't got another, I don't think this is quite that old, but you never know. Um, but I must look it up. See if I can figure it out. It's a great picture. I love that title page. It's definitely very old though, you can tell from the way the font looks. You probably haven't been able to see any of that. But yes, the font I love. And it looks like it's got pictures throughout. So definitely be seeing how old that one is. Beautiful little book. The pages are in surprisingly really good condition. There's this one, which if you can see, it's got some beautiful embossing on the front. So I might have to try and do something with that. This is Murray's Imperial Library, Graham of Clever House. Yeah, for sale in India and the colonies only. It's just beautiful embossing on it though. Nineteen oh eight this one is. Let's bring it a bit closer. So I purely got this just because it's so old. It's copyright nineteen oh seven. Beautiful big font in this, and again the pages are in really good nick. They're really nice and thick. I think a spider picture. Or am I seeing things? There's a possibility of that. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, beautiful thick pages. Love that cover though. Looks like it's got ships on the front and a crown. It says India. This is lovely. Don't know if I can get it. Oh, there you go. You can see the India there. A beautiful cover. And then another one with some more embossing. And this one is the International Scientific Series. Ants, bees and wasps. This was an awesome find. Look at that. 
beautiful black. And that page is really nice. And then it's got this plate. I absolutely love this. 1906 this one is. It's the 17th edition too. <laughs> 1906. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. I haven't looked to see if it has more pictures, but I saw that one plate and just fell in love with it and the age of it. And again, it's in beautiful condition. So I'll be hanging on to this one for a while, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's got many. It's got some diagrams, but I'll have to have a better look through it sometime. Beautiful, beautiful old book, though. There we go in the back. Maybe it's got some more. Yeah, here are all the plates. They're very thick. They're almost like cardstock thickness, these. That's an amazing little book. It's got a fold out of a map. It's got a couple of them. And then the series. I wonder if it's in the same series as the butterfly book. I had a really old butterfly book at one stage. I have to have a look. Oh, there's a fungi one. It'd be good to find that. And I love these sort of pages with the adverts. So they were some good finds, especially that last one. And then I grabbed this one. I think it must go that way. But I love the box it's in, for starters. Be a nice Egyptian thing cover. And then I had this book in there. I love the cover. It is, of course, way big, but you know I'd have to use big pages to fill that one up. Wouldn't be cutting it down, that's for sure. So yeah, I just love the cover on that. Then of course it's got pictures of this era it's pretty well new the pages don't feel like they've been turned really so that was a good find for the book and the box so I'll be able to use the book cover and the box for two journal covers and then use all the pictures so I can make myself two journals out of all of this. It's a nice picture. looked at the music books that we have I was able to grab these for a dollar each which is awesome so I've learnt now I used to buy just the sheet music um, so now I go for the books that you know have a good few pages in them rather than paying two three dollars for just the sheet that has two three pages you get a lot more pages so this is the hundred best short songs I don't know if it, oh look at those photos they're gorgeous does it have a date? Might be able to look these up. I've looked at one before. Sometimes they tell you somewhere, but... Oh, this is copyright in USA, 1930. Beautiful coloured pages. be really nice they're almost glossy the feel of them is sort of like glossy and um, this is France Abd singing tutor Let's see if there's a date on this one it looks a bit newer maybe but again a nice amount of pages doesn't look like this one has a date The 
100 best short songs so that's in the same series as the first one I showed so yep 1930 in the USA and this one also so a nice bit of sheet music there and then there was this I think this was out no it was in the music section so I think this one cost me three dollars for the size of it um, piano for muscular relaxation studies for students, artists and teachers. Love the embossing on around there. It's a big book this one. Let's look at this page. Don't think that has the date on it. 1908 and it is just gorgeous so yeah it says down there 1908 muscular discriminations Almost a glossy book as well. So it just talks about all these exercises. It's got some pictures there. Of the hands. Oh nice, yeah it's got a few nice diagrams. Bit of music. Beautiful old book. Seeing if there's anything else of great interest in between. Love the back page. And a nice advert there. So that was some great finds. Um, very good condition for the age. And then another one of these, my wizardology. I like this one. This is probably one of my favourite in this um, series. A lot in it and I just love how they've got like pockets and tucks and things like that too. It gives you ideas about journals. So I don't know if there's anything in this one. I haven't really sat down and had a good look. And look at even, look we make these. <laughs> it's got a little note in there. So if nothing else these are great ideas these books might even be able to trace around this as a template but the pictures and that are really cool for a sort of wizard themed book and looks like you can pull the pages apart and use both sides is that every page like that i think they are yeah it looks like they might be which is really cool. So you'll be able to make a couple of journals with what's in these. They're just beautiful. Which is a shame to think about um, breaking these up, but there must be a fair few of them around. I've seen these series around a bit, but I love this little booklet. It's a cool idea too. And then they've got a little fold out scroll thing there. A little envelope. Flips down like that. That's so many cool ideas. Just the pictures are amazing. Spells and how to cast them. This still has some sticky stuff on it. So that sort of goes to show this book's brand new. Someone's bought it and not even looked at it really because this was stuck up and I'm not sure why. Oh, so that spins around I think. <laughs> Sit down there fun looking at this all night now. 
not the little flip out bits. But it's really cool, I didn't notice with the other one I've got that the pages come apart so easily, they're not even glued together so it's almost made to be taken apart. I do have a few others in this series. So one day I'll have a whole heap of fun with these. Another one here. Oh look, it's got some cards in it. I have to look at my other one now and see if it has all these bits or whether they've been removed. They are so cool. Probably end up keeping one for um, ideas and then use the other one to make a few journals. Look at this cool little wizard's book. I think that comes out, yep. It's on a string so you can't lose it. You could take that out and use it as a charm. And then it's got that jewel inset into there. It's really really cool that book. All right so that is it for me. I thought I'd take a bit longer showing you the book since it's such a small haul but that's a nice size haul <laughs> for me at the moment. So I hope you're all well. Have a great weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye!